Right, here we go. This is the French military. I think it's F1 tent. I'll just put it up uh, for the first time. It's two parts got the inner and the outer bit. Should be a waterproof. I might actually leave it up, and uh, I'm sure it's going to rain later. So, let's see how it goes. And inside, if you can see, plenty of space. It's got two air vents on the side, which can flip up and down. They're down at the moment. Give it a bit of light. It's got these two aluminium poles. I hold it up, and the guidelines. Very simple. This thing's brand new. Um, plenty big enough for me. These things just lift up a velcro carp there. Along there. It's meant to be quite nice though in the mornings to be able to look out. And the tent opens up on either side as well. So you can have you fully. fully open. Plus, if you don't want to take the inner tent, sorry for the bad camera work, if you don't want to take the inner tent, we can just take the outer and just sleep under that. Because that can, if you take the alloy poles, or it's very light, don't weigh nothing. You've got yourself a tarp. Because it's independent of the, in, the inner section. Built where really, really nicely. It does weigh a bit, I think in total it weighs four kilograms. But the pole with the, uh, the pegs that come with it are really heavy duty, so I could get lighter ones. Get some alloy ones or. There we go. Let's we'll see how we get on with it. Let's give me another view from this side. I expect I'll take it to the bushcraft show this year. Now what I've done, I've took out the, the inner layer, but left standing up. The uh hang on, let's get this going. The outer top layer, and you can just either pack up your tent like that if it's raining, you can do that all from inside there, or if you didn't want to take that out at all, just take the top, the outer layer, and you've got yourself a quite a light tarp set up. Just to be honest, it's not. Pretty sturdy. Can't go nowhere. 